I believe we have an electrical anomaly developing here in the house and this time it's not a melon it might be an actual problem earlier today I was in the kitchen making dinner I had these three lights on on top of the uh, the cabinets and the lamp on and the lights behind me on I don't recall if the ceiling fan was on or not but I was looking at the sink working on you know washing something or whatever and it seemed like there was a flash of light in the room like a real like one singular quick strobe of light and I didn't think much of it because it's not unusual for a car passing by to, to kind of cause that effect when a car comes up the the uh, other road there and makes the turn sometimes if they're going too fast which unfortunately is often the case the lights from the car will shine through the window real quick and cause like a flash of light this time it looked a little bit different though so I, I just kind of made a mental note of it and moved on and then, uh, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes later, I was still making the meal. It happened again. And so I looked out the window this time, and there was no car. So I kind of moved it from my observation list to my this is a problem list. So then I was in the bathroom taking a shower just now and using the hot water. The boiler comes on, and I get the strobe of light again, uh, which is really odd because... Well, for one, the boiler is a low draw, so it shouldn't be fluctuating the voltage. And number two, if you plug in a capacitor and it charges up, this should cause a momentary drop, not an increase. And it's got to be pretty substantial because these are incandescent bulbs. They're not that sensitive to, to voltage flux. So I'm, I want to film it so that I can see on a video exactly what's going on because sometimes you perceive something differently than it really is so I'm gonna zoom in on these lights here and um, why does this camera not film these lights I don't understand this I had a problem with this when I was put filming the video of putting these lights up it does not like to film these lights alright I'll leave it like that I'm gonna go call for heat on the thermostat here I heard the um, circulator pump come on, but the boiler is still hot from uh, when I was using it while I was taking a shower. So it's going to take a minute or two for the temperature to go down uh, before the, the burner comes on. I don't know if the circulator pump is a PSC or a sheet of pull motor. I know the burner itself has a PSC motor. You can hear the water going through all the all the heaters. Well the radiator let's say now the boiler's hot and ready to go. Should be coming on. All right, there we go. Just did it. So that to me looked like a. I'm gonna go shut it off real quick because I wanna. I wanna do it again. Um, I got two of it. So that to me looked like a a spike. That didn't look like a drop. It looked like a spike. Um, and it was a a decent amount too. So, let's go get a kilowatt meter. We'll just break the tripod. The camera battery is out of charge, so as soon as I unplugged it, it went out. But I got the kilowatt meter here, and I plugged it in, and I got it set to volts. And we're right around 120 volts, which is what it's supposed to be. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the boiler on now, and let's see what happens.
So that didn't look like it showed any kind of a uh, a significant change, really. It went down went down a, a volt, which is a, a lot. Um, it's just a little PSC motor on there. I can't imagine it pulls more than an amp or two. So I don't see why it would be doing that. I'm going to plug in the Christmas lights over here, which will add another 20 amps almost. And that made it go up. Plugged in. Unplugged. Plugged in. Well, that sure is weird. So the voltage goes up when the lights get unplugged. I mean, when the lights get plugged in. Wow, 127. That's that's awfully high. That's a, that's actually like concerningly high. It should not be 127 volts. I have the lights plugged in right now. Everything just got dim and went up to 127. Yeah, something is definitely going haywire here and I'm not sure what it is. I'm going to turn the boiler off and let's see how it behaves with the boiler off. Stable at about 120 volts again. Let's turn these Christmas lights on. Holy Mac, 120 volts. That's way too high. Turn the oven on. Let's see what that does. It went down a little bit. That's that's expected. Turn it off. One twenty eight. 129. Yikes, that's way too high. Oven back on. The lights got brighter and the voltage is 120. That's that's pretty high, 124. Christmas lights unplugged. 115. Oven off, 120. Oven on, that was normal. We had a slight dip in the power when it first turned on, and now it's staying a little bit lower. That's expected. Oven off, 120. Okay, so something is very, very wrong. I'm not sure which leg the Christmas lights and um, these lights reside on. 
if they're on the same or not, but there's no reason the voltage should be climbing to almost 130 volts. Putting the Christmas lights back on here. Now 121 is, is within reason, but I, I still don't understand why, okay, now it just dimmed and it went up to 128. Yeah, something is, something's wrong here. And I can, I can see a, a significant difference in the brightness of the lights. I'm plugging the Christmas lights and it gets brighter. Plugging the Christmas lights back in. I didn't see much of a change. We're still at 121 volts. There, it just dimmed, and now it's 128. I'm going to unplug the Christmas lights, 128.9. Christmas lights unplugged, and the voltage goes back down to 120.5. So something is way off kilter here, and that's, that's a really confusing behavior. Try a different outlet. I mean, if the bathroom is doing it, unless the bathroom is on this leg, it could be just that one. Uh, maybe just that one circuit is is goofy. So we got 118 volts. Oh, what's on this thing in here? Let's see if the stove light, I'm going to turn these other lights off here. Let's see if the stove light seems to do it. Christmas lights got plugged in. It went down to 116, which I would expect it to go down a little bit because that's a high draw. Now let's see if it unexpectedly climbs up or I guess it'll be expectedly now because I'm expecting it. That's pretty predictable. The brightness has not changed in here. Whoa, it just dropped. Now I only got 109 volts. That's quite low. Hmm. All right, let's unplug these Christmas lights. 108. And we're back up to 118 where we started. So something is uh, is behaving kind of erratically. I suppose maybe the first thing to do is to change the fuses, because I still have um, I have a fuse that's connected, which I believe is original to the house. I could try changing fuses, although I don't think that that would be the problem. Oh boy, well this is uh, this is kind of complicated, too complicated for this hour. So I've collected the information that I wanted. I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm not gonna turn anything else on. It's a high draw. Um, I'm gonna just turn the boiler off because I don't need it. 
I can use a pellet stove instead. I don't need any hot water until the morning and I'll turn it back on when I'm awake and pay attention to what's going on. And uh, we'll just have to finish looking into this tomorrow. I, I have no idea what what would cause that kind of behavior. That's that's very odd. And I haven't I haven't changed anything, so it shouldn't be the only thing that's happened is the flood. But that I don't think that I mean nothing electrical got wet, so that wouldn't that shouldn't be causing any problems. Whatever, it's an issue for tomorrow at this point. It's the next morning and it's still going on. I called UI to report the problem. It doesn't seem like it's quite as bad. The highest I've seen it go today is 124, but it's still not normal. Um, they called me back just a few minutes ago. It was an automated message and it said that there's there's some issue affecting power in my area. So allegedly they're going to have it fixed by 1215. So we'll see what happens.